Millions of workers throughout the world work in export processing zones, or EPZs. Most of them are young women. They work long hours on temporary contracts and in most cases do not have a union to protect their rights. EPZs in Indonesia look very much like EPZs in other parts of the world. They are industrial zones where large numbers of factories are concentrated, producing for export markets. Many workers migrate to find work in EPZs, but when they get there, they are only offered temporary contracts, with no guarantee that these will be extended. The life of an EPZ worker is precarious. Like all precarious workers, workers in EPZs need unions to improve their working lives, but may be afraid to join one if they think it means losing their job or not having their contract renewed. For unions, making contact with workers inside EPZs is even more difficult when the factories are protected by security gates and fencing. But in Indonesia, something extraordinary is happening. EPZ workers are joining trade unions and bargaining on their pay and conditions. Unions are helping agency workers to become contract workers and contract workers to become permanent. Wages are increasing. How have unions in Indonesia been able to organize EPZ workers in the face of so many obstacles? We're about to find out. The International Metal Workers Federation has two affiliates in Indonesia, FSPMI and Lominik. These unions understand that organizing EPZ workers needs strategic planning. Organizing targets must be selected and agreed on. Resources, both human and financial, must be dedicated to the task. This is quite a commitment, but the unions have found that it pays off in membership growth. In 2001, our membership was 77,000 with 139 organized plants. In 2008, membership is 125,000 with 364 organized plants, so there has been a big leap. The amount of dues has increased from less than 56 million rupiah in 2001 to 2.7 billion rupiah in 2008. So again, this has been a big leap. Since EPZ workers are mostly women, the unions have also realized that organizing efforts must be led by women. Women are now members of the executive in both unions. They take a leading role in planning and coordinating organizing drives. In FSPMI, quotas written into the union rules ensure that women are represented in all its structures. With women workers, we continuously reinforce the importance of the union. We do this through education to increase their knowledge or by getting them involved in decision making because decisions taken by the union will affect women workers as members of the organization and as members of society. Developing strategies to organize contract workers is vital since most EPZ workers are on temporary contracts and may be reluctant to join the union. There are many challenges to EPZ organizing, but the main ones concern periods of work. Contract work only lasts for a three-month period, and then sometimes they continue, sometimes not, and that needs to be resolved. The unions have made eliminating precarious work a top priority, which gives contract workers a good reason to join the union. We want contract workers to join the union. We negotiate to restrict the spread of precarious work. We want to eliminate precarious work, but if that's not possible, we want to limit it. Armed with its organizing strategy, the union heads for the targeted EPZ to put the plan into action. It's time to make contact with workers, and the unions have found that the best way to do so is to hold an organizing roadshow. The organizing roadshows bring the union directly to the workers. The roadshow continues all day and transport provided by the union enables workers to come and participate whenever their shift ends. Hundreds of non-union workers attend the roadshows to hear about their rights and about how being a member of the union will make them stronger in their workplace. The unions use the roadshows not only to motivate workers to join the union, but also to identify activists who will organize back in the factories. Uh, 
setelah pendidikan one day meeting itu. After the one day meeting, we form task forces of between two and five people. When they go back to their factories, they bring information on the union with them and they start to organize. I joined the roadshow because I wanted to know more about the increase in union activity so I could find out how to get more involved. I will ask my friends to join the union. Workers who come to the roadshows learn about what the union can do. They also get to experience how much stronger they can be if they join with other workers in the union. <laughs> When you wave your hand like this, you're still doing things individually. Put your fingers into a fist like this. Raise your fist and say, long live workers. If you join together in a union, you will be heard, and this is what we want. Inspired by the road show, the workers go back to their factories and talk to their colleagues about joining the union. Training organizers is a key part of the union strategy. Organizers are recruited from the roadshows or can also be existing members from the unionized factories. For workers in companies that are already organized by FSPMI, we conduct training so that they will be able to recruit at nearby factories. Finding and training women organizers is especially important. One of the work programs of the Women's Directorate involves conducting visits at the branch level and at the plant level once a month. There we gather women members to explain the importance of joining workers' unions. In unions, not only do women learn how to bargain and do union work, they also learn information that's useful for women, for example, on health and safety and maternity protection. Becoming members of a union has brought real benefits to EPZ workers in Indonesia. Their wages have increased and many have moved from contract to permanent employment. The union is very, very good for contract workers because it improves their living standard. I joined the union because I wanted help in changing my status from temporary to permanent worker. I'm very proud to be in the union because I've learned many things. Sometimes I learn about my rights and sometimes about the company violating our rights. I know a lot more about my rights since I joined the union. By planning strategically and cultivating women leaders, unions in Indonesia are demonstrating that it is possible to organize in EPZs and to improve pay and conditions. The International Metal Workers Federation is working with unions like FSPMI and Lominic to organize EPZ workers as part of a global effort to fight precarious work and to improve the lives of women workers. Solidaritas! Solidaritas! Solidaritas International! Solidaritas International! <laughs>